they sell them the idea that this is going to be easy, that there's it's not a big deal, but it's so dangerous. Drug cartels are taking on a new tactic to recruit smugglers using video games, the kind that might be in your home, to target teens and young adults for criminal activity. The Border Patrol says it's primarily people from the Valley who are being recruited right now. Team Trial's Adriana Loya has the details of a recent case involving a Phoenix woman allegedly recruited while playing Grand Theft Auto to unknowingly smuggle meth across the border. Online gaming, it can be all fun and games, but for criminals, it's an opportunity. Recruiting through uh, gaming. Drug cartels using popular virtual games for real world crime. Anybody that's 16 and over that already has a driver's license, it's a target to get recruited for uh, doing smuggling for them. Tucson Sector Border Patrol spokesperson Jesus Basavilvaso says cartel's new tactic, finding people to smuggle drugs or engage in human trafficking by recruiting them while playing online games, which typically have chat rooms where you can talk with strangers. People from Phoenix area are heavily being recruited. One of those people revealed in court documents as 25-year-old Alisa Michelle Navarro from Phoenix. She was arrested at the Lookville Port of Entry last November with nearly 130 pounds of liquid meth hidden in the car's gas tank. In a sworn statement, federal agents say she told them she was recruited to transport electronics from Phoenix to Mexico while she was playing Grand Theft Auto and was told she would be paid up to $2,000 for the trip. You can utilize any type of game to, to get uh, recruited on this. Basavil Basso says most of the cars they seize from smugglers are registered in Phoenix, and they are seeing a common trend. Kids are using their parents' uh, cars or sometimes their grandparents' cars, and unfortunately we have to seize that vehicle once it's utilized for smuggling. What is it that draws people to join cartels via social media or through games? I think part of it is the way they sell it. They sell it as being an easy money making scheme. All you have to do is drive down to the border, pick up people or pick up this package and then drive it. Changes in behavior, new items or clothes that you didn't buy your children can be red flags parents can keep an eye out for. You are risking your life and you're risking your liberty. Adriana Loya, 12 News.